Hello, this is Francisco Kerbari, and um, I want to show you in this video a, a program that I use to read email. I, I basically have two Gmail accounts that I use quite heavily, and uh, it's not uh, optimal for me to open a tab in a browser and um, check one of my Gmail accounts, open another browser, open a tab, check my the emails, the incoming emails in my other Gmail account and so on. So to that end I use a program called Wavebox. Wavebox used to be called WMail and it was uh, it was free and uh, it remains free now after they changed the name to Wavebox they expanded the functionality and uh, imposed some restrictions on the free uh, version of the program and uh, if you want to have the complete function functionality you have to pay something like uh, nearly twenty dollars a year and I decided to pay that and then you can do other things a lot. So let me show you here. This is um, Wavebox. You see it? Now this is one of my email accounts. That's my other Gmail accounts. I have, uh, I can select here if I come here to settings. I can um, select uh, the language here and uh, I, I have uh, Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese and English uh, selected as primary and secondary languages here and uh, you can add accounts, you can add services to the accounts, to each account, Google, your Google Calendar, Drive and so on and this is Wavebox Pro, that's the one that uh, that's uh, that you pay the fee to have all the functionality and uh, that's the indicator here of uh, unread messages so when you have some unread messages uh, this indicator here will tell you how many messages how many unread messages you have and you can select uh, in the configuration uh, what do you mean by unread messages? All messages, only certain types of messages, and so on. If you go to their web page, let me search here GG Wavebox. If you go to their, uh, that's the, the old name here, WMAIL, that's wavebox.io here. And then you have uh, information about uh, Wavebox there. And then you can see everything that you can add to Wavebox, everything that you can do with Wavebox, the dictionaries, and so on. And um, it's, uh, it's available for Windows, Linux, uh, Apple. And um, I find it quite uh, useful. And since I use uh, Gmail quite heavily, I think that's uh, worth it for me. If you click here in pricing, then you see that you can, with the basic uh, version of the program, you can um, you can add up to two Google accounts, but you cannot use the services, which means Google Calendar, Google Drive, and so on. And one, one minor detail, if you run KDE Plasma, as I do, and if you want to have this indicator here, functional, working, you need to install the following package, lib app app indicator dash sharp. You need to, at least in Arch-based uh, distros, you need to install that package in order for this indicator to be functional. Lib app indicator dash sharp. And uh, 
So I find the uh, uh, wave box quite useful. You may give it a try if you use uh, Gmail accounts and other email accounts. And if you want to, if you don't want to pay to pay for alliances, that's fine. You can use uh, up to two Gmail accounts, up to two Google accounts, using the the standard version of the program. And if you are running an Arch-based distro, let me come back here to the page. And uh, if you if you are running a, an Arch-based distro. You see here, they have a 64-bit uh, Debian installer and a tar file. You can just do the following. You can just type uh, yaward minus s hyphen s and uh, wavebox dash bin and that uh, will install wavebox as long as the AUR, the Arch user repository, is activated in your Arch-based uh, distribution. So I find the Wavebox quite useful. Uh, I use it daily and uh, you may give it a try or you may take a look at it and uh, decide if you want to give it a try, if you want um, to use the standard version which is uh, free or if you want to go for a Wavebox uh, uh, license which costs I think $19.95 or so, nearly $20 a year.